Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs and for this video, we are going to be counting down the top 10 figures of the year so far. It's kind of a silly video because we're going to have to do a top 10 at the end of the year, but you guys like these top 10 videos and I had a lot of people request this. I know I did it like at least once before and it seemed pretty popular, so we're going to do it again. Uh, I'm going to try to stay as objective as possible in considering price point and paint and articulation and sculpt and all that kind of stuff, but when you're doing a top 10 like this, it's going to be a little bit more subjective, you know, fun factor, that kind of thing. Uh, we'll see how it goes. You know, it could change any day I do this, but this is what I came up with so far. But before we get into the rest of the video, we have to talk about the sponsor of today's video, which is Into the AM. They are the Elevated Clothing Company. They have all of these cool designs in the t-shirts. They have other things too, but I really focus on the graphic tees because I love them. And I think you guys will too. Most of you have bought them. Not most of you. I don't know. A lot of you have bought them and told me you love them. Some of you are telling me you're buying like 10 or 12 at a time. That's awesome. I have that many. I wear them every day. They don't fade. They don't wear out. They look amazing. They have a ton of new designs. This is one of them. This is one of them. I actually wanted to wear this one, but it's just a little bit less colorful. So I figured I would just show it to you, wear the colorful one, and then show you another colorful one too. These are some of their new ones. You guys have already seen all the ones I've been wearing. They have tons. They have tons of new ones, tons of old ones. They do sell out fast, but they do restock. So don't worry too much, but you do want to get in there. Uh, but yeah, you can get all kinds of different things on their site. And if you want to save some money, you can use the link in the description below. That'll save you some money. You can also bundle the graphic tees or the regular tees, or you could do the subscription service where you save even more money, but you don't get to pick the shirt. Totally up to you, but I definitely recommend you check them out. They're super comfortable. They look great. They fit great. Can't beat them. Love these shirts. They are the best graphic tees I have ever worn. So check them out. Link in the description below. Alrighty, so the first thing I want to do is start with a couple of honorable mention figures. These figures are pretty darn solid, but they have some things holding them back. This first one is Spiral, the Marvel Legends figure. Really nice sculpt, acceptable accessories. Obviously, there's a little bit extra going on with this one, but it does lack paint and it has the usual level of Hasbro finish where it's just like it's not really that much of a collectible so it, it doesn't go any higher but it is a really strong release for Hasbro speaking of we also have this ultimate Captain America which is an excellent release I was very very pleased with it when it came out it got a really good review however there are a few things holding it back such as the paint and some accuracy issues and things like that but definitely two strong 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 figures especially if you collect Marvel Legends you, you're gonna want to check them out if you don't collect Marvel Legends, then maybe not. Okay, going on to number 10, we have the Storm Collectibles Liu Kang. Now this figure, just like the ones I talked about, very strong release. It has a lot of good stuff going for it. The only reason I can't put it higher on the list is that you have to buy the dragon with it, which makes it exorbitantly expensive. Uh, yes, the dragon's cool and I know a lot of people wanted it, but for those of you who don't, you're basically paying double the price just to get the Liu Kang figure. So that's definitely a knock for the figure, despite it being really good and having only minimal flaws. I can't put it higher on the list due to that dragon. Coming in at number nine, we have NECA's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder clones figure. Figures that I didn't think I was going to like at all, but they turned out to pose at least relatively well, but I would say surprisingly well. And they have just such cool shelf appeal, very cool styling, very cool paint jobs, good sculpts. Like there's, even the accessories were pretty good. Like everything was firing for this NECA release. They do have limited articulation though, which is standard case for NECA in this sort of realm, but that's why they're not higher on the list, but they are really good. Some of the most fun figures I had this year so far. Coming in at number eight, we have the SH Figure Arts Turles, which it does have its drawbacks and that's why it's not higher on the list. The number one drawback for this guy is basically just the shoulder pads, otherwise, oh, and his knees are discolored. But otherwise, this is one of my personal favorite releases from SH Figure Arts, and I think it's one of their best ones. It has some cool accessories in the cloak and the fruit, and it has a really nice uh, finish to it. It's very, very appealing on the shelf. It, it's a really, really good one. It's one of their better ones, but those do, two issues do kind of hold it back and we have better ones to, to show coming up. So that's why he's not farther up on the list. Coming in for number seven, I had to include this guy. This guy is a whole lot of plastic, a whole lot of paint, some really cool accessories and solid articulation for a really low price point. You can't beat the Marvel Select Beta Ray Bill unless you're one of the other figures on this list. This puts, I think, every Hasbro Marvel figure to shame. 
Uh, that's obviously just an estimate, but uh, don't don't fact check me on that. But it's really darn good. If you can get past the few slight issues this figure has, and if you don't mind it being Beta Ray Bill, y you can't get much better for your money than this, especially given the size and hulking bulk of it. It's it's pretty darn good. Coming in at number six, we have a figure I never thought I'd put on any top 10 list ever, uh, at least in the positive light. It's the SH Figure Arts Kakashi Kakakakakaka. And this figure surprisingly is very fun to pose. They did a pretty good job making it, and it's at a relatively low price point. It's, it's not extremely low like Naruti or his buddy Sasuke, but it's still, you know, for the money, it's pretty darn good. And it's, it's just one of those figures where I was really enjoying posing it and playing with it and having a good time with it. And since they executed well and it has decent enough accessories, I had to put it on the list. Even though it's a Naruti character, Cousin Frank had to be put on the list. Okay, number five goes to the Jada Toys Ryu. My personal favorite of their figures so far, even though they only have two, just because I like Ryu. There's one that's a little bit better. We'll see him soon, I think, on this list. But Ryu... For, they came out of the gate swinging. He's, his skin color is a little bit weird. It's very orange. There's a few QC issues here and there on this series, but otherwise, this figure is phenomenal, exceptional. This line from Jada, if they can keep it going, will go down in history as one of the most significant things to happen in the toy industry. They have done an incredible job at the price point. The articulation's great, the sculpts are great, accessories, everything you could want in a collectible toy, they are providing. Whereas other companies who are way, way, way bigger are charging more and giving you way less. Very impressed with this line so far. And Ryu is, well, he's one of two. The other one's a little bit better. So that's why we haven't talked about him yet. Coming in at number four, we have the SH Figure Arts Frieza Second Form. Again, not a perfect release. None of these are, so I have to mention the downsides here and there to differentiate what I say. Otherwise, I'm just saying, wow, it's really good. Neato. No, this one's good, though. It has a few flaws. The tail's a little bit iffy. Lack of paint here and there, definitely a problem. But it is sculpted really well. It poses really well, and it's a lot of fun to get into certain poses and get in the display. I would say the biggest reason why he's not higher up on the list, and everybody mentioned this in my, not everybody, but a lot of people mentioned this during my review, it's that the face is the wrong color compared to the other parts of the figure. And that's true. It's not as noticeable in real life as it is on camera. It is a thing, no doubt. But once you get imposed and put on a shelf, you're probably not gonna notice it unless you look for it. So if you can get past that, this is a super fun release that I think you're go going to enjoy. Coming in at number three, we have the Storm Collectibles Balrog. And the reason I have this guy on here not a little bit higher is because he's got a few issues in like the waist and the posability can be a little iffy here and his head squishes way down too far onto his torso. But those are all things you can easily work around and the rest of the figure is executed particularly well. The paint job is one of the better ones that they've done. It poses far better than you would think it does and it has the proper kind of shelf appeal. It, it looks like a collectible, it is a posable toy, it definitely evokes the, the spirit of the character. Like, it's just exactly what you wanted it to be, like, minus the few little nitpick type problems. It's an excellent release from Storm, one of their best yet, it's up there with Sagat. Coming in at number two, we have NECA's Gargoyles Hudson figure. This is another one where it's like bang for your buck, almost unrivaled. It's it is exceptionally good. I think it is the best release in the Gargoyles line so far. I can't think of any real flaws for this figure, just a little bit of weirdness in the articulation on the torso on the back. And of course we have the wing issue, but that's a NECA issue, not really this particular figure's problem. As it is, this figure is excellent. There's a ton of paint on it, a ton of sculpt, good accessories, it poses well enough. There's really nothing you don't get with this release if you were interested in it at all Like you don't have to be a gargoyles fan to just want a cool figure and this will satisfy both the gargoyles fan and the casual collector Who just thought it looked cool? Easily one of the best figures of the year so far Now coming in at number one I had to include this just because you get all three of the spider-man figures And so all of the nostalgia boxes are ticked it comes from Hasbro So, you know, you're gonna get the bare minimum accessories and it's just really what you want in a collectible at a high price. Now, of course, I'm only kidding. That figure set is trash. The number one figure this year so far is the Jada Toys Fei Long, which is basically the exact opposite of the garbage I just teased you with. 
Uh, you get so much for your money. It is exactly what it should be. And there's nothing you could really change about it other than like slight adjustments here and there. The articulation's wonderful. The sculpt is wonderful. Paints are wonderful. Accessories, wonderful. The only real downside for this line so far, consistently across at least both figures, there's a little bit of a QC issue going on. But hey, guess what? Giant company Hasbro has that same exact problem with that same three pack I just showed you. Half the Spider-Man figures don't have their eyes painted. At least Jada got the eyes on the figures. There's a little bit of alignment issues, but you're not going to beat Fei Long or Ryu, really, if you don't mind the orange skin, for your money. For 25 bucks, these are the best figures I have handled in maybe even a couple of years. There's a fun factor to them. It's just everything you want it to be. So if you're into Street Fighter or just cool figures at all, you really need to check these out. If you're not, well, you're missing out. And, um, well, there's Hasbro for you if you don't, if you're not interested in things like this. There's plenty of stuff from Hasbro. So there it is. That's the number one figure, guys. And that's my list. So let me know what you think in the comment section below. What would you change? What would your list be? How wrong am I about certain things? Or am I right about everything? You can let me know in the comment section below and I'll try to respond to you guys. And I'm going to try to get back to pinning comments that are interesting too. And uh, we should have a, a good discussion down there. Hopefully nobody's slinging too much mud, but uh, there's the top 10 list so far. So thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed the video, please do give it a thumbs up. If you didn't give it a thumbs down. And if you haven't subscribed, well, you should. I have new videos almost every single day and thousands already on the channel. So make sure you come back for all of that. In the meantime, keep collecting.